the original sort of anti-vaxxers mm. who was a community deeply embedded in liberal voting factions. Yep. And only under COVID was there a right-leaning faction mm. that were not so much anti-pharma, mm -hmm. which is the common battle cry in the left, mm -hmm. but they were just pro-freedom. Right. And so their notion was you can't inject me if I don't want you to. That's right. So why don't we just still allow that, but then deny them access to places where they could spread the disease? Or we could give them their own island. <laughs> <laughs> ah. It's terribly cynical and maybe even mean, but if we had an island, all these people say, I want my freedoms. Don't tell me what drugs to take. I don't want my milk to be pasteurized. I don't want fluoride in my water. Okay, fine. Here's the island. You guys go start over again. <laughs> but uh, not everything in that list mm. is equal. So, for example, if your water supply, your personal water supply, you remove the fluoride, right? no one else is affected by that. True. But if you are not vaccinated and you catch the disease and you infect others, then they are affected. Correct. So not all the reasons why you might ship people to this island are equivalent. No. I just want to ship the ones I don't like. <laughs> I didn't say this was a kind decision, Neil. <laughs>